the it's like a, a, a place where I feel free. <laughs> it's fun. Does it give you like a sense of comfort and like coming home? Yeah, it does. I think even though it's been what's it been almost ten years since yeah. I I quit swimming, it's still very familiar. Yeah. I told you it was um, this in this pool. I gained my first uh, national title, a junior championship, national championship. Um, I think swimming is uh, definitely a sport where it's beneficial to have done it since you, yeah, since you were a child. Just because the feeling of the water and learning how to breathe properly and being comfortable in the water is very hard for other people to learn. So crossfitters usually panic and they usually try to do things very fast and very inefficient. It's my experience. Yeah. Klaus is actually pretty good. I mean, he's not built for swimming, he's very dense. <laughs> so, and also he's, he's rushing things a bit. Yeah. But it, it's pretty good. How's it going? Uh, it's okay. It's hard swimming. Yeah. I just say, uh, I just think it's hard to be to keep being efficient in the water. Yeah. After some time, uh, if the games were right now, yeah, that would stress me out. I haven't been swimming much. Also, uh, just I focused 100% on the open, and I didn't do any uh, swimming in that period of time. But uh, I mean, the plan is to do a lot of swimming yeah. um, up until the games. So hopefully, it won't stress me as much. After the games, I just had a period of a bit of rest, but still needing to maintain some training because I knew the Open was coming again soon. Um, I decided mostly just to look uh, onwards towards uh, the World Championship in weightlifting, just to shift my focus a bit. And then during that training period, I was just very frustrated, like nothing was working. I was feeling sore. My body wasn't functioning like I, like it was used to. Like everything just fell apart. Yeah. Then the second workout came, and um, and that was um, that was a workout. Um, if you compare with the twenty-minute AMRAP we had two years ago. Uh, where I didn't do that well on it, uh, where I thought this is what I've been really training to do better in, these types of workouts. So I, th I was pretty motivated to really like show that I've gotten better in, at this stuff. And, uh, and I did, I, I did really pretty well in that workout. But then Frederick, he won it in the world. Um, and then I thought, okay, Frederick is probably gonna take the win this year because he's, he's far ahead. I cut myself in the hand with like a really sharp knife and then I thought okay open is over because I need stitches in my hand and I knew if the first workout had any sort of hanging in the bar I would probably suck so again I cried <laughs> a bit but then I also for, for the first time in my life I think I just decided to not panic and then just go okay Whatever happens, happens. The th I think the third week we found out he, he got the penalty. And um, then of course, you know, it's, uh, Frederick's my friend and uh, I felt uh, really bad for him because that must suck. Uh, that you, you get this penalty um, and it, you know. Um, so. But he also put you back in the game? It like, put me back in the game, yeah. Yeah, so I was, you know, I was, I was happy because of that. Um, but I still thought, well, there's still other guys that I need to beat, so it's gonna be, it's gonna, still gonna be really tough. The score, I was, uh, I had a few points ahead of Andre, I think, one point maybe. One point ahead of Andre, yeah. 
and I was still like, I'm a very skeptical person, so I was, I was still like, no, it, it can't. Be. I mean, it's not 100% at all. Uh, and I, there's, now that I've ha had two workouts, I did well in the last one. Can't be one that's gonna be a workout which I can, I can win. So uh, I was preparing myself mentally for the worst, and uh, then the workout showed up with uh, the muscle ups and the rowing and the wall balls, and I thought, shit. Uh, wall balls and uh, and rowing is not something I would be the best in. This is going to be really tough, and I need to fucking bring it if I if I want to win this. Um, I had the advantage that I could lose to Andre as long as there was no one in between us. Then I would still win um, the Open in Denmark. When did you know, like, okay, I got this? When they announced the final workout, it was everything I prayed for, I think, to finish the Open. And then I knew I had it. And I knew because I knew I was better at each one of those exercises in the workout compared to the girls I was competing against. Trouble is, in Denmark, it was only actually, um, not just the first workout, but there wasn't a lot of workouts where other people were putting themselves in between me and the other two girls I was competing against. So I couldn't really rely on that. I needed to win every single one from almost from the first one. That's a bit of, that's hard work also mentally. Not as excited as the first time, but still I'm pretty, I was pretty amazed. I made it a second time, uh, putting together everything uh, 2019 has uh, thrown at me, I've done it. So looking back, I feel insanely proud that this was, I was able to pull myself together and rise from a pretty sucky downfall after the games. Uh, there's, there's so many rumors going on. You know, Denmark is a small country and the CrossFit uh, community is, uh, is really, really tight or really close. So there's, there's so many rumors about times and people saying, hey, you heard he got this and so on. So um, I told myself actually quite early that don't listen to any times that you hear or anything because it doesn't matter. And uh, I need to, I know what I can do and what I can change in this workout and, and, and what I should try and how good I could do. So that's what I was focusing on. And then Sunday actually, and usually I would go and do it Monday, the redo and wait until Monday. But um, I thought, okay, I need, and maybe this needs three tries um, if my second strategy wouldn't, didn't work because my second strategy was way different than my first strategy. I tried Sunday and it was, it was shit, sorry for my French. Um, it was really fucking bad. And uh, I was very disappointed. Um, went home really, really sad that evening and just thought, okay, that was it. Um, then I spoke with Yami um, from the training plan and we came up with a different strategy. And uh, I, spent, I spent hours on this strategy, like really calculating how many seconds does this take how, how many seconds can I can I save if I don't do that transition and and so on and then at last I came up with a strategy together with him and some other uh, friends as well and uh, so I went out to the gym warmed up started doing it I had written all my tie break times up uh, or all the split times up and I was keeping up a little bit ahead actually and uh, it worked out pretty well and then you know I got to the last part where I, I wrote the 60 the last 60 calories at the end and I knew if I if I held this pace I would I would get the time that I wanted to get then I came after rowing and I was I've never been that fucking happy uh, I was so happy and I well actually I, I laid down for like 10 minutes I couldn't get up I was I was really exhausted but um, but I was so happy I've always believed that the mental aspect of training is, is the most important part. Because if you break down before an event, in the middle of an event, it's your, it's your head that's gonna, that's gonna break down, you know, first. 